Now we want to find the circumcenter of a triangle. Start with any triangle. We'll start with an acute triangle. To do this, you're going to have to bisect each side of the triangle. So start with a triangle, any triangle that's an acute triangle to start with. Okay, and you're going to mark equal distance points from each one. And then again, in my mind, I'm thinking uh, somewhere around there. Okay, so I know that my arcs have to be in this area. Now the reason I say my arcs have to be in this area is I know that if I make it way out here, it's not going to intersect with anything. So I know that I have to put them about where they're going to intersect or else they're going to miss completely. That keeps me from having to draw an entire circle. If you draw an entire circle, it gets very confusing very quickly. Okay, and then we're just going to draw a nice long line here. We're not going to worry about how far it goes. We want to make sure that it's good and long so that these can meet wherever they meet. Okay, again, I'm thinking I'm going to do this side next. I'm thinking that's eh, going to go, well, probably through there somewhere because it has to be equal distant. This has to be at the center, so I know it's going to be around there somewhere. And I've got to draw all new arcs. Be careful not to get confused between the two arcs. There's two sets of arcs that you have there. And I'm going to do the last one. I'm figuring out oh, the midpoint of this last side is about right there, so perpendicular line. Uh, bisector is going to go through. I know it has to, it's going to cross right through the middle there, so um, drawing my arcs. And we get a perfect concurrent set of lines. It's interesting the way that God created these triangles so that they would do this. And they all cross right here in the middle. And that's your circumcenter. Now you can take your, you don't have to do this, that you found the circumcenter. But the interesting thing about the circumcenter, and the reason I do this is to illustrate for you that each corner of the triangle is equal distance from the circumcenter. Okay, so that's how you inscribe a triangle inside of a circle, or circumscribe a circle about a triangle.